another soul that has been taken by the hands of violence. It's, it's senseless, it doesn't make sense. Well, tonight a family is heartbroken after losing one of their loved ones to another act of violence. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Scott Wickersham. I'm Erica Bryant. This is Rodarius Meters. He was shot and killed last night inside a home along Saratoga Drive near Freedom Drive. We just learned that his father is a member of Team True Blue. That's the group we've been telling you about that works to try to stop violence in Charlotte. Our Aaron Edwards talked to one of the founders of the group and Aaron he told you what they've continued to say, that these crimes need to stop. That's right, Erica, and officers are still searching for the person responsible for killing the 22-year-old. Police tweeted out earlier that detectives need the public help finding that person. And we just learned tonight that the father of the victim is a member of Team True Blue, a group that works to put an end to violence in Charlotte. I received a call. Um, over in the night that we had another homicide. But this homicide hit closer to home for Will Adams and the entire Team True Blue family. 22-year-old Rodarius Meters is the son of one of their members. When I found out it was him, you know, it was just devastating to all of us. The local group works to stop violence in Charlotte. Adams says Meters' father has been a part of Team True Blue since its start. When Team True Blue was formed, he was one of the ones that was very adamant about being a part, you know, he's been, he was at every meeting. A life has been lost here. We're told Meters was shot and killed in his home on Saratoga Drive Wednesday night. Dozens of family members and friends flooded the street, devastated after learning the news. We don't know the details. We don't know what happened. We don't know who all involved. You know, we don't know any of that. You know, but right now it's just loving on the family, you know, because I mean, it hurts. Team True Blue is now working to comfort the family. We just, you know, actually everybody just continue to pray. But their main message remains the same. The violence has to stop. The guns have to stop because it's another soul that has been taken by the hands of violence. Officers went door to door on Saratoga Drive today trying to get any information about this shooting. And they say if you know anything to call police. Erica? Of course, this is such a tragic blow to that organization and to our entire community. So hopefully police will solve this murder soon. Thank you, Aaron.